So this is the Arbor A-frame on the table. And of all the boards I tried um, from Arbor's newer line, 2019, only three though, this was probably my favorite because it just did two things incredibly well, like I said in the review above. It just carved like a champ and bombed like a champ. And it just felt like the stable, kind of wider platform bomber compared to the old Arbor A-frame. The old Arbor A-frame bar, uh, bombed, barved and calmed, uh, bombed and carved amazingly well too, but it had a little narrower of a waist. It was a little longer. Um, it just felt like this 62 is like a compressed 66 where it's not significantly wider and uh, not like a short fatty or anything like that, <clears throat> but it just feels like, you know, they just, shortened it and as they shortened it it got just a touch wider and uh, that's kind of how it feels to me and it's super fun though and the Clovis was pretty fun too and so was the cask um, I think I like the Clovis second best and then the, the cast after that but all three are really competent fun boards and um, I would say this A-frame though this is just what you get for bombing and carving. And you can see now this year, it has a little more taper than it used to. Um, in years past, it I think it was like, only like two or three mil taper, and now I think it's like six. Um, and so just a little difference between the nose and tail, a little more surfy, a little more washy, just a touch, but not super washy. washy. It likes to carve and um, you know, it's also now no longer that really scary kind of full true camber. This is camber from tip to tail. They call this system camber. It's kind of a complex thing when you think about it. It's just regular camber, or simple too, whatever. Um, it's regular camber from tip to tail. Uh, it's got a big longer nose with a nice low, you know, like low entry kind of nose so it planes well and it gives a little extra float than your average camber board um, but then on the sides here and you can kind of see it when i you know under certain light angles it, when it reflects it kind of shows this kind of like fender technology where you can kind of see and, and if you lay it down on the table you can see how it's kind of lifted here on the side so it's less catch free but yet you still have this healthy bow of camber that likes to carve and bomb. And it's kind of a heavier board, um, even for a 162, like 162s are kind of on the heavier side to start with compared to like a 56, but it's still on the heavier side of most 162s because it's, it's made to be damp. It's made to be powerful. It's made to bust through chunder and um, making a board like this ultralight just doesn't seem right. It just, I, I don't have a problem with a little extra weight. I actually prefer it over um, an ultralight board. I just don't think they handle speed. They handle uneven terrain as well as this board does. Um, and then you've got this grip technology, grip tech, and you can kind of see, I'm gonna put it up here. Um, and you can kind of see, it's just a little bump over each insert pack on each side. And you can kind of see maybe that a little better. Um, and what that does is it just gives you more grip and it compensates for these lifted, whoops, compensates for these lifted um, sides. And then, um, you know, as far as stance goes, I love the seven pack inserts. You can kind of see here in the seven by two per binding instead of just, you know, uh, six by two or some even do five by two. And then um, you have, um, you know, if you want to set it all the way in, you're looking at just about like 18 and a quarter all the way out. If you really want to free that taint of yours, um, just get it out and open and just, you know, like zip open the fly and just be free, be you. Um, you, you can get to 24 and a half. Now setting it all the way back is like 21 and a quarter. And uh, you're looking at eight, an 8.5 8 difference between nose and tail when you're talking about setback. And then you're looking at 4.25 back on board, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> so the true like setback on board is 4.25. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, it's like, it's not very setback on side cut. I think it's like 15 mil or even centered. 
something like that where um, the old one used to be like two and a half back on side cut or something like that. It was like nuts. It was like like a two inch setback on side cut. But um, you know, when you're talking about the bass, man, I I wish it like I love true black bases. They're just so easy to repair. And a lot of you might be going off pieced with this. Um, so if you hit this, it's going to be kind of a nightmare to repair, but I gotta say it is beautiful. Like these colors, just, um, the arrow, just, you know, the Arbor look, it, it's a nice looking base. Uh, Arbor always just gets the aesthetics perfect. Um, so, you know, not super repairable, but you know, looks good. So, you know, maybe, you know, treat it well, um, be careful off piste, but man, all in all, it's just, just kind of like a bomber and a carver. And if, if that's what you're looking for, you know, this is best for those guys <clears throat> who come up in the morning and are gone by like, you know, they're their first chair and they're gone by like 10, 30, 11, um, when the groomers start getting uneven and messy, this is one of those great boards or, or you just like big open shoots and, um, and bombing down through those. And you kind of like that old traditional camber feel and you can handle the float of uh, you know traditional camber, but you just don't want that catch that you used to have. So there's the A-frame.